and I'll be editing pieces of it so it won't matter. Do we need a tin to put it on? Probably be a good idea, huh? Mm -hmm. the bag sale. So before I show something, here's what I'd like to do this year. I just want to keep it as simple as we possibly can this year. Here are the rules that you need to know about. It's these are, and these are really important. So don't fast forward. Don't fast forward. So I take PayPal only, but I do allow multiple payments to be split out and I can actually do like four months for you to pay for whatever it is that you're looking to pay for. And when I give you the price, the price is for the invoice that I'm going to send you. It will include your shipping and it will include the bag or the accessory, whatever it happens to be. I will complete a video of the packaging and of the mailing. This protects both you and me. Nothing leaves my house without having done that. There are some of you that like to purchase my bags and we've done it year after year after year and we've done it through friends and family. If you're paying friends and family, what you would do is you would send the money to me without getting the invoice. And that saves me a little bit because it's it's a hit when I send an invoice out. I have to pay a percentage in order to do that. So if you are doing friends and family, if you know me well enough to trust me, that's fine. I'd let me know that that's what you're going to do. And I will take off a little bit because I don't have to pay for that extra percentage. So just let me know if that's what we're going to do. I'm happy. I'm completely happy to send the invoice over to you. That's not a problem at all. But if you want to do it a little differently, that's fine. If you happen to be local, uh, meaning if you happen to be near the Jacksonville area and you want to just pay in cash and forget the shipping, let me know. That's absolutely fine as well. Again, if you let me know that, obviously we'll be meeting and I'll knock off a little bit because then I don't have to pay for the shipping. So all of those things to just set it up so you have different options of buying your bag and getting it to you. 
if you decide that you want to wait, like you want to make the payments along and along, and you want to take the four months, that's fine. Not a worry at all, but I don't send the bag out until the final payment goes. I think that that's absolutely fair. I don't want to just send it off and then not get paid for it, right? Here's the next very important thing. If you do the payments where you want to split it up over the four months, I really don't care how you do that. You will need to pay the 25% down, and then you determine how you want to pay for the next uh, period of time into until the four months is up. So if you want to do like a real small amount and build it to a large amount, that's great. If you want to pay like a large amount and then pay tiny amounts after that, that's great. I, I don't I don't mind at all. The one thing I cannot do for you is to refund that 25% deposit or whatever else you have placed on this bag. I know that seems really tough, but it is a rule. So if you have, let's say that you're getting um, a bag and it's $100. If you put your money down, and let's say you do $25 down the first, like just to, to start the payments. And then the next month you put another $25 in and you are $50 into your $100 and you decide you don't want the bag anymore you have lost that $50. Like it's not coming back to you. That's that's the rules. I'm sorry about that, but I have, um, it's a rule because of my past experience. <laughs> and it's not, it's not fair to me if I take a bag off of the market when it could be sold and then I'm sitting here with a bag and I have to restart a process again. So I know that that seems like a tough rule, but it is, it is definitely a rule. If you get multiple bags, so let's say you get three bags and each of them are $100 and you put $25 down for each of those bags, so you put $75 down. And then next month you pay $75 again because you're paying off to get to that $300 mark. And then you decide that there's a bag you don't want you will not get refunded for the bag that you paid for. Meaning, out of the three bags, let's say you take one out, you decide you don't want that. That $75 that you put down covers the first bag, the second bag, and the third bag. So, you are not $75 along, you are now only $50 along. And if that seems confusing, please let me know and I would be happy to work with you on that. Having said all of those horrible things, I am going to place the rules down below so you'll be able to kind of refer to them. And let's start. I'm going to show just a couple bags a night, probably a high-end bag, and then just a really great, wonderful, everyday kind of bag, all right? So with that, let's do the very first one, and that's going to be, oh, let me take the puppy stuff out. Can you see the Vachetta? What? So this, I'm actually really, I do like this one. This is kind of exciting. So this is the Louis Vuitton Bucket PM. It is in really great shape. Now I'm gonna bring it up close and we're gonna talk about everything about the bag and then I'll give you the price. And if you want like detailed pictures, I'll be happy to do that for you. So the Vachetta that goes along the top is in really good condition, really great condition along, along here. There is no cracking on this bag, on the vachetta that goes across the top of the bag. It's in great condition. On the bottom, it has normal wear. It has great wear for its age, but it has what I would consider normal wear. Now notice this right here, water spot, a water spot. You'll notice these along and along this is actually normal wear because this is a, a Louis Vuitton bag with natural vachetta and it happens. So you will, you'll find that on pre-loved bags. The bottom, the feet are in great shape. There's no, there's no real 
um, rub. There's not really rubbing through anywhere. It looks really good. The only thing that I would note, see how um, soft the Vachetta is here on the handles? I want to show them to you. It is older Vachetta, right? It's in, uh, it's in good shape. I mean, it's not bad, but it is soft. And eventually, eventually, as all Vachetta does, it is leather and it wears, right? So like right around here, right? Softer than other places. On the edges, it's definitely, whoops, let me back up just a little bit. Along the edges, you know, this is, it's older Vachetta. So there's definitely some coloring like where they've held their, you know, where they've held it. I purchased this bag, water spot right there. I purchased this bag and never used. I was so giddy about getting it. And then it literally just sat in my closet and I'll tell you why. I'm not a big North to South fan. I am an East to West fan. Um, and that doesn't always work for me. But when I saw this, um, and I'm gonna show you, you're gonna get really excited in just a second. The interior is actually why I purchased this bag. And I'm gonna show that to you right now. For these buckets, you know how more often than not these days, they get sticky in there after years of wearing them. And what people do is they peel this off and then they have like that little fuzzy interior. Somebody, uh, prior to me, I did not do this, but somebody had this relined. So this actually has been relined in there. I'm so super excited. And do you see the Vachetta? I, I don't know for sure, but it looks like it was a newer Vachetta that was placed in. I don't know that to be true, um, but it looks that way uh, to me, or maybe it just hasn't seen the light of day so it didn't darken like the other. But see how it looks significantly lighter? Let's talk about the tab right here. It's in really good shape. It has this. right? Because you had the, the clutch that went in there. Anyway, it looks really beautiful. I love this bag. Just didn't wear it. And you know my motto, <laughs> if you don't love on a bag, you got to let it go, right? So, so for this Louis Vuitton Bucket PM, the price is two. 75 it's an incredible deal 275 that includes invoice it includes shipping you have four months if you'd like to take it to pay for it that's fine if you want to pay the 275 up front that's fine too and i'll get it right on its way so there you have it 275 for the louis vuitton Bucket PM. Just let me know which bag that you're interested in when you reach out to me. All right, there's that one. Now this is for the regular standard everyday bag. And this is going to be a Dooney and Burke this evening. And what we have is, let's take a look here, because sometimes I forget the name of these. This is a small, let's see, what is it? Oh, it's not a small, it's a medium zip Hobo, medium zip hobo. There's the um, there's the information on it. Can you see that? Okay. Can you see the number for it? Yeah. So this is a great this is a great bag. It's actually I purchased it. Look, never used it. Never used it at all. There's obviously no wear because never used it. <laughs> I wanted an elephant bag, not like not a bag for an elephant, but I wanted a bag that was in the color elephant. Uh, it was beautiful, um, but I have these large arms because I'm larger everywhere. And when I went to put it on, it came too close for me. Now, look, these really are large arms. So if you have large arms, this might not be the most exciting bag for you unless you've tried this style before and you really love it. 
it's absolutely beautiful. The smell of the leather is just delightful. I'm gonna open it up for you. Let's see, let me move this. Let me do the, the um, I moved this to the back. I'm going to open it now. And then in the interior, go ahead and remove the pieces of plastic and the paper. Um, I do have the original where I bought it and I will make sure that it's packed in that when I do send it. La la la, I'm taking the paper out. Okay, here we go. So on the inside, you have a zipper right here. You have one large pocket. And then on this side, you have one large pocket as well and then a big open space down here, and of course the obligatory. So you can tell this has never been used. This is, this I think is an incredible deal if you don't have fatty, if you don't have fat arms. <laughs> like, I don't know how to say that in a nice way. If you don't have fat arms, you can wear this bag and it will be beautiful on you. So this bag, <laughs> this bag is gonna go for, um, $100 and that includes invoicing and shipping. So if you're interested in this bag, please by all means let me know and I will be happy to also if you um if you're like, "Hey, I love that it's $100 and I really want it, but I need to pay 4 months." Yes, yeah, fine. You can give me $25 a month and that's no worries at all for me. Just let me know. All right. Uh, so there you have it. Those are the two bags that are up for sale this evening. Each, um, each day now, I will feature a higher end bag and a regular daily on the channel of items that are for sale. I hope that that was um, helpful to you. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I love you guys. I, I love you guys like, I don't know. I, I love you like, what do I love you like? I don't know. I love you like hot apple pie, a la mode, a la mode. I love you guys like diet birch beer. What, what? Bye.